guys, it's Elizabeth, Finding Elizabeth. I'm pulled in a parking lot on my way to a holiday party and I wanted to make my, my Vlogmas video. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do it on until right before I left the house and then I watched Fat King Phil's week 957 post-op political sleeve gastrectomy update and he brought up something that I thought was really interesting and what he said he had been discussing with people in his life was when do you consider when do you consider that you've accomplished what you set out to accomplish of course I have to fix my bangs because it's me um, and I think he also said when are you done so you know I don't know that people have ever asked me that directly. I mean, maybe my closest friends, because I'm still, you know, fairly, I mean, honestly, I'm still pretty fluffy. Um, so people haven't said, oh my God, stop losing weight. You're too thin, da 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 da. And um, I had set a goal, a weight goal for myself that I realize now is probably not gonna be possible for me without plastic surgery. And it's not even that, um, it's not even that small of a goal. I had set a goal, I think, of like 185. The lowest I've gotten, I was 400 pounds when I started this. The lowest I've gotten is like 198. And I saw a picture of myself at that weight, and now I'm about 20 pounds more than that. Um, I saw a picture of myself at that weight, and I looked fucking incredible. If I could get back to that weight, I would be happy. And I have to get down to 210 before I can get a console for plastic surgery. But anyway, I digress. But I started thinking about it in a different way when I heard him say that on his, when I heard Phil say that on his video today. And what I started thinking about was a big, you know, I've always had a huge fear of regain. And I believe that there's a natural bounce back in this process. I didn't believe that in the beginning. Um, now I do. And for like from, August of 2017 to August of 2018, I pretty much threw all the habits that I knew worked out the window. Um, I started eating all the carbs. I started eating my feelings. I stopped exercising. I stopped drinking my water. I stopped putting my self-care first. And I um, just all those things that had been such a crucial part of my journey and what made me a successful, not just a, a successful weight loss surgery patient, but a successful person dealing with this issue that had been following me my whole life. And I was pretty fucking terrified. I was terrified that I was not going to be able to get it back, that I had blown it. That, I mean, you see it all the time. I, you see it much less on YouTube. And I've been talking about this with people recently. When we look at the people who may have gone through our programs with us, who um, don't use YouTube as a tool, either by watching or making videos. I mean, the people on YouTube are really pretty amazingly successful, but you see it all the time. I mean, you see it all the time that people just aren't able to keep these habits up. And I thought that was where I was. My body composition had changed, and part of that is getting older also, but it was also about eating carbs and um, not working out, let's be honest. And I was really afraid. I was afraid I would not be able to get control of myself with food. I was afraid I would not, I just wouldn't be able to. And guess what? I did, I could, I have, it's fine. And what I learned was, through that process was that these habits that I developed over these last, I mean, in April it'll be five years since my surgery, but so these habits that I developed are mine now. They are part of who I am. So really, I am never, you know, this is not, it's, it's a journey, not a destination. I mean, this is my life now. Um, it's my life. This is taking care of myself. This is being a healthy woman. Um, and from the perspective of 
Have I gotten what I set out to get through this? I didn't even know what I was setting out to get because I didn't think it would really work for me. But you know what? I have. I have these habits. I am not done losing weight. There's nothing I'm stopping doing. This doesn't mean anything other than that when Phil said that, I really started to think about it for the first time in a long time because it had always been a weight goal or a size goal or a this or that. But it's like, you know what? I am absolutely not done, but I have absolutely completed and achieved what I set out to get from this far beyond what I set out to get from this because I really didn't that I'm somebody who did you know what yesterday it was 100 100 sit-ups 100 push-ups 50 squats it you know and I did it again today and that that's just who I am and that I keep getting up and I keep going to the gym and it's important to me that I'm constantly just aware of the choices I'm making, I have so far surpassed what I plan to get out of this. So from that perspective, I am done. I have succeeded at this journey. How about you? What do you guys think? Um, what do you guys think about that for you? All right. Talk to you later. Bye.